Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day and happy April Fools. I actually don't like April Fools Day because it's a day kind of celebrating foolishness. And today for the word for the day, uh, I want to talk about God's foolish people. And we're kicking off a, a series on Word for the Days where for the next couple of months, we're going to talk about heroes of the faith in the Old Testament from Judges up through the death of King Solomon and the divided kingdom of Israel, which again was about fools that did that. So uh, today I'm just kind of setting the stage. We're in Judges chapter 2, verse 11. And, and, and here's the story, the synopsis really after uh, the conquest of the promised land. So in case you're joining us late, we, you know, we had uh, Moses lead the children of Israel out of slavery in Egypt. Uh, they heard from God. They said they were going to follow God, and then they disobeyed God. They didn't take the promised land. For 40 years, they wandered until all the adult males were dead. Uh, and then Joshua led the people of Israel into the promised land. They conquered the promised land, most of it anyway. And then the book of Judges picks up with Joshua's death. So chapter 2, verse 11 says, And the people of the Lord did what was evil in the sight of the Lord and served the Baals. And they abandoned the Lord, the God of their fathers, who had brought them out of the land of Egypt. They went after other gods from among the gods of the peoples who were around them and bowed down to them. And they provoked the Lord to anger. They abandoned the Lord and served the Baals and the Ashtaroths. And, and the anger, anger of the Lord was kindled against Israel, and he gave them over to plunderers who plundered them. And he sold them into the hand of the surrounding enemies so that they could no longer withstand their enemies. Whenever they marched out, the hand of the Lord was against them for harm, as the Lord had warned and as the Lord had sworn to them. And they were in terrible distress. So the pattern of judges is simply this. God has rescued his people. He established them in the promised land. And then they are unfaithful to God. They begin to worship the gods of their neighbors, uh, which were basically fertility gods. Uh, and, uh, and so they... they Broke, you know, all the Ten Commandments uh, pretty much in one act of worship. And, and so they, they all did that as a community, not just a few individuals. And so God allowed their enemies to conquer them. And then when they were in enough pain, then they would cry out to God. And God would raise up a hero. In the book of Judges, it's Judges. And, you know, after that, it's the Kings. Uh, and and they would, God would deliver his people and reestablish them. Under the rule of that judge, they would be faithful again until that judge passed away, and then they start the cycle all over again. And, and so I want you to know that because we're God's people. We have the truth. They didn't have the Bible to read. We have the Bible to read. They just had the verbal stories. They were only a couple of generations removed from Moses' leadership and the miracles of the Exodus event, and they forgot. They chose to forget. They chose to not pay attention. They chose to not be faithful and they invited destruction into their lives. And all we can say is that's foolish. Except we do the same thing. We know God's word. We read God's word. We, we, we know that if we apply God's word, it'll change our lives. And yet we choose to ignore God's word. We choose to walk away from our Savior who loved us and gave himself for us. And we invite destruction into our lives. And so today, on a day when people celebrate foolishness, can I encourage you to celebrate wisdom and choose to follow Jesus, choose to embrace God's word, because when we read and apply God's word, God will change our life. And I hope you'll stick around with us for this look at the heroes of faith and a little bit different flavor for the word for the days. God bless.